Okay, here we go. Uh, it's awesome to be here today. So today I'm going to be talking about learning. What in particular? Self-learning. So before we get into that, let's talk about myself for a bit so you know who I am. My name is Ryan Lee. I'm 15 years old. That's a picture of me, and I know all of this stuff. So how do I know all of this stuff? Self-learning. So when I was about 10 years old, my dad bought me a MacBook. It was a lot of money. His wallet was in pain. He was like, ah, oh, I don't want to give it to you. <laughs> so anyway, um, I'm, I was playing this game, and you can have your own user profile. You can write it in HTML and CSS. That's what we write web pages with. I didn't know HTML or CSS, so I couldn't make my own user profile. But I wanted one really badly, because everyone else's profiles looked really, really nice. So I went out and I learned HTML off the internet. And uh, this is the source code for my first web page, and it looks like this. Yeah, it's not that interesting. But yay, go America. <laughs> so, you know, I thought this was kind of cool. You can just type stuff into the computer, and it'll show up instantly on the screen. So I went on, I got a bit better at it. I learned PHP, which makes the website do things and not just display content. And I made basically um, a clone of Twitter mashed together with Facebook groups. So it's basically a Facebook group wall, and I called it Open Space. Uh, I got a few hundred people from my school to use it. It was really fun. And I kept developing this skill. I kept going at it. I was motivated. I wanted to learn this. So back in April, I joined this program called Startup Weekend, and I joined this team called BMay. BMay is a website to help consumers in greater China find good plastic surgery clinics in South Korea. <laughs> Uh, so this is the web what the website looks like. This is my team. We won best <laughs> we won best user interface at Startup Weekend. So uh, these these are my teammates, and this is me. Yeah. Uh, so this is the Impulse smartwatch. This is a smartwatch that only runs one app at a time. So my dad bought this for like 200 US dollars, and he was like, "What does it do?" And I said, "It displays notifications on your wrist." And he said, "Is that all?" And I said, yeah. He's like, so why the heck did I buy this? It was $200, man. And I was like, it's cool. You know, you can program for it. And he's like, do you know how to program for it? And I said, no. <laughs> so uh, yeah, $200, and it only does one thing. You can only run one app on it at a time. So I went out. I tried to look at tutorials on how to make apps for this thing. So you, make, you program for it in a programming language called C. And I found this developer online who was working on a framework so you can run multiple apps on this watch. So I went out and learned C and started writing apps for this framework. And that's how I learned C. So anyway, self-learning doesn't just apply to programming and development on computers. So this is my MacBook. And uh, I'm really into music. So I took piano lessons, but it was all classical music. But what I really wanted to do was you know, party music pop music, uh, hip hop. So I went online, looked at some tutorials, how to work the software, how to produce music, and I bought this microphone, I bought this pop filter, and this keyboard, and I bought this software called Stage Light. And now I do hip hop music because I wanted to do this. This is uh, something I was motivated to do. So what do all these things have in common? They're all projects. They're project based. There's a clear end result. The start is where I found out that I wanted to do something, and the end result is this completed project. Learning is not one size fits all. So you can't, self-learning is better than lecture style learning in that you learn at your own pace and such. And you get to pick your own projects. So it's not like my parents are like, hey you, go learn programming, go do it now. <laughs> I said, I wanted to do this. Like, you know, I could be at the computer for hours on end, and my dad would, would be like, well, what, what are you doing? You know, this is something I wanted to do. It's not something that somebody else pushed me to do. So I think what everyone here should take away today is find out what motivates you. Because what worked for me might not work for you. But if you find out what you want to learn and what motivates you, just go do it. If you act on it, you, I, I bet you're going to learn something. You might not be, you know, 
you might want to learn a language. You might not be the best at Chinese or French or Spanish, but you'll still learn a few words. You might not be the best programmer, but hey, you'll be able to type a few lines of code. That's good. You learn something. And it's really about the method of learning rather than you know, how much you actually learn, how good you get at it. Because if you learn how to learn, then you'll be able to learn more things, right? Thank you.